So we're here at the Indie Spirit Award celebrating independent filmmaking, which is known for being hard scrabble and roll with the punches. So I'm wondering, is there anything that interesting that you've had to do to, you know, make the day or get a scene or uh, find mm. a shot? You know, is there anything out of the box that you had to do? To make sure we did it, uh, yes. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm trying to think of something interesting. A lot of times, it's just stressing and. Uh, not getting the next shot that we wanted. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, because I, I think that's mainly what happened is like, if you liked Sorry to Bother You Now, think about what it would have been like with all the shots that we missed every day. <laughs> you know? Is there anything that you had to leave, you know, on the cutting room floor because you just didn't have the funds or anything that you would have? There was something that we, where we didn't have the funds. There was an interrogation scene that was supposed to have uh, a full frontal nude scene for uh, Lakeith. And, um, and it, matter of fact, it was like part of the deal, like, hey, this is what, what but, but then, as we did it, we needed to cut something, and I realized after filming him for a couple weeks that we didn't need the nude scene because, you know, I wanted him, the nude scene was for him to seem uh, vulnerable, and he already has that, yeah, you know. And the movies, you know, been out for a while and is screened, and you've been doing this campaigning. I'm wondering, have you had a favorite audience moment or fan reaction to the movie that stands out? I mean. You know, I'll, I'll go to uh, film schools and, and, um, and universities where film students will just come up to me and say, I, I had no idea you could do this with film. It's changed my idea of what I want to do. Or, yeah, other people that just making comments on how much they feel the film uh, changed their idea of what they want to do in life. I mean, and I, not to just to be filmmakers, but what they, as far as wanting to be involved in movements and things like that. Yeah, and in your speech, you talked uh, about inclusion and filmmaking, and I'm wondering what advice would you give for young filmmakers coming up in the industry right now? Um, if you want to be in the film industry, it be, should be because you have something you want to say. So figure out what that is that you want to say Sometimes that may be through the process of filmmaking. And make the film that you want to make. Don't just try to become a filmmaker. Try to make your projects. And, and that's the difference. You know, there are some people that, it, you know, they want a job, right? And so you want a job, you can get a job. You can get a job making the same stuff you've seen before. And that may be good because you can feed your family, whatever. But my advice is you're starting off make the thing that you want to make and figure out, you know, write the thing you want to make, create it with your friends, figure out how to get it, get that thing made. Don't just figure out how to be a filmmaker. And my final question for you is now that award season is coming to an end and campaignings are starting to slow down, what are you going to do now that you're at the end of this journey to just relax and decompress? Oh, uh, I got too much work to do to relax <laughs> and decompress, so... Jumping Nothing. right back in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, great. Thank you so much. And All congratulations right. great. again. Great. Thank great. you. Thanks.